Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. In today's video, I am so, so happy and excited to show you guys all the things that I picked up from Target. <laughs> of course, he makes an appearance in every single one of my videos. I mean, he has to, right? I just hope he's not gonna squeak that thing forever. Okay, thank you. Like I was saying, I am super excited to share with you guys everything that I picked up from Target and Amazon. I bought a bunch of home goods and homeware stuff because I have been really itching to revamp and make over our whole living space. It's because I've been more on Pinterest and I've been seeing all of these inspo pictures of these beautiful homes with the neutral white and black aesthetics and I freaking love it. I've always wanted to do it. It's just been really difficult for me because I just own so many wooden furniture. Not because I love wood or anything. It, I think I still really like the look of light wood or bamboo furniture and things like that, but I'm not a huge fan of that rustic orange warm wood color. And unfortunately, all the homes that I've lived in before and the current one that we're in right now all have, you can see in the kitchen exactly what I'm talking about. I don't think it's pretty. It's that really warm, rustic, orangey wood color and I'm just not a fan. Definitely the next place that we try to move into, we're gonna, at least I'm going to be more picky on the cabinet colors and all that stuff so everything kind of ties together. I'm gonna try my best to slowly transition my home into more of a black and white neutral color scheme. I wanted to show you guys everything that I bought. We definitely bought a lot of stuff this round but I think moving forward it's we're gonna get little bits and pieces here and there and we just have like long-term goals in terms of the couch and things like that because as much as I love the gray fabric I think I just want that centerpiece in a living room to be a little bit brighter and more lighter color. With all of that said, long story short, what I'm trying to say is that we are trying to transform and remake over our home into that really aesthetic, crisp and clean, white and black neutral color. I have my coffee here with me because I have a feeling it's going to be a long video. I have quite a lot of things to show you guys. Before we jump into the video, hello if you're new here, my name is Amy, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're into self-care and lifestyle videos like this one, please remember to subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see my day-to-day. -day. I post a lot of stories on there, things that you don't see here on YouTube, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and everything, so I would love it if you follow me over there. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Let me get the sore thumb out of the way because it is currently just sitting on our island because I didn't know where to place it before I showed you guys. Charlie and I grabbed some new pillows for our bed because the current pillows that we have right now, we got them from Costco. I realized that I have a lot of like bedroom stuff from Costco, I don't know why, but I think I was just on a really tight budget when I was in college and I just brought everything with me. Both of our pillows are from Costco and as much as I love those, it's just a little too flattened out for us now. It's very just kind of like when we try to lay on it, it we just sink into the pillow. So we wanted something that's a little bit more of a medium firm level. Okay, so this is the new pillow that we got. We got two of them for our bed. It is by Beckham. I think that is what it's called. Apparently it has this cool technology with, uh, what is it, gel fiber material or something like that. It's very fancy, it looks very fancy. It's called the hotel collection. So you know when you go to a hotel and there's like these bunch of really nice big fluffy pillows but they're kind of firm. So this is kind of supposed to mimic that feel and experience, but it's definitely not as um, like hard as the hotel pillows. I personally don't like pillows that are too high up because it gives me neck pain. This one, I feel like it is the perfect size and the perfect like width where it's 
not gonna make your head sink in and it's not gonna flatten it out as much, but it is still very soft and plush. So I'm really excited to use this. I saw a lot of great reviews on Amazon for these. People were saying that it got rid of their neck pain and all that stuff, so I am really excited. I think you know when you're adulting, when you get excited to get new pillows. <laughs> We got two of these to replace our old pillows. And then we got the same, okay. We already have two silk pillowcases. It's kind of like the knockoff versions of the real slip silk pillowcases. Obviously we don't wanna pay that much for silk pillowcases. So I just got the knockoff versions on Amazon. They got really great reviews and we actually already have them in a beige color. I don't know why I got them in a beige because it just looks kind of dirty. Like it looks weird. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the color now that I look back at it. So we got new replacement ones for black because we got a duvet cover and a new du like actual duvet insert from Amazon. It hasn't come in yet, so I can't show it to you guys in this haul. If it does come in by the time I'm editing this video, I will try to sneak those two items in. And I think I have one other thing that's coming in the mail from Amazon. This is the black silk pillowcase and we are going to put this case or put this cover on the Beckham pillows that we just got. So I'm really excited. These are super soft and really nice material, very slippery, like the satin silky feel. I personally haven't felt the actual slip silk pillowcases, so I don't know how it compares, but I love the beige ones. So I just wanted to grab another one. These are way, way cheaper than the slip ones. I think this does really help with your skin and your hair. I got two of these for the pillow. Pillows. This brand is called Rav Mix 100% natural mulberry silk pillowcase and I will list all the items and all the links below so you guys can check it out if you want to. I'm gonna get all the pillow related stuff out of the way because I got quite a few pillows. So these pillows I got from Target. Target has some amazing homeware. It is my go-to place for pillows, let me tell you, because they have the best designs for throw pillows and accent pillows. They just have such a great variety. The only thing though, you kind of have to hunt for them because some are on display, some are kind of hidden in other aisles, and some are misplaced because people carry them around and then they just like lay it around the store. So it was kind of a scavenger hunt. Okay, so funny side story. We g grab these pillows and all the pillows in Target are around the $20 to $25 price range. When we picked these up, the price tags on the pillows themselves were missing. We didn't really check how much they were going to be from that aisle because most of these were on display. When we got to the checkout station, we were doing self-checkout. We were missing the tags for these. The employee was just like, are you guys okay with just like paying $8 for each of them? So we got these for $8 each, which is such a steal. Honestly, we had no idea how much they were. So we were like, yeah, like whatever you think how much these are if you don't wanna check. Like, because the employee, employee clearly just didn't wanna go back and check or ask for additional help, I don't know, to get the price tag. So she was just like, I'm just gonna put in $8 for these and we're not complaining. These, I think, run for about $20, but we got it for $8, which is quite a steal. That is one funny story. Two of the same pillows. I really like this. It has that velvet texture and it is just as soft and plushy as the white ones that we have currently on our couch. So I'm so excited to replace those with these pillows because the cover we can actually take off of the pillow to wash them. Now when Romper licks them, we can just throw them in the wash. We also got one more pillow for our bedroom. This one is really, really cute because it's an accent pillow. It is this more of a rectangular shaped, it's kind of like a pill pillow, pill pillow. It is this gray color. Oh, by the way, the velvet ones are kind of like this grayish, I don't know. I can't really explain the color because it's kind of multi-dimensional due to the velvet texture, but it is this grayish with a green tint, like a slight olive green tint, but it's mostly gray. 
so I really like this. This one is just a heather gray pillow with some like specks of white and black throughout the texture. It's kind of like a really nice linen cover. It does have a zipper on the side so we can also wash these which is great. We're gonna put that on our bed and I think it'll just tie everything together especially with the duvet cover that I'm gonna put in our bed. So super excited. Oh my gosh, I have all these pillows next to me. We also got some fake flowers from Target because I've been wanting to place some fake flowers inspired by fall autumn colors and we have a vase that's like right there. It's that kind of pale yellowy beige vase. It's really nice because in Target you can pick out like these just individual stem flowers and you can kind of customize how you want to make it. These are some flowers that I got and each of these were five dollars but I think if you buy three or more all of them are like four dollars each so you save some money by just buying them in bulk so we bought a few. We got this yellow one right here. We got a we got two of these green ones right here. I don't know what this flower is called to be honest so Go figure. This one is really pretty. I love how delicate this one looks and it's a little bit more droopier, like an off-white color. This is the last one and it is like a daisy. I really like this because it has that kind of burnt pink color. I thought these would be so nice in that vase. Oh no! It lost a leaf. We also picked up some bathroom related stuff. We have been trying to switch out our shower curtains because first of all, it's really dirty. Like the liner definitely needs to be replaced <laughs> right now. And we have a more of a plastic outer curtain. Not the best because you can't wash it and since there's like water stains and stuff like that, I wanted a cotton one. Also, I wanted to switch it into that more white and black theme. We grabbed the medium weight Piva, P-E-V-A shower liner. This is just the generic like I think Target brand. We're gonna replace it with that for the inner lining. And then this is the shower curtain that I grabbed from Target and I actually really like this pattern. It is this just kind of like dotted geometric pattern. I really like it because it's kind of that black and white theme that I love. It's very subtle, so it's not going to be super in your face. I don't like when the black on shower curtains are super, super dark because I don't like when my bathroom looks a little too dark. <laughs> I'm really excited to switch into these. We also got a new bath rug that's going to be right outside of the shower. Currently, we have one from Ikea and that one is just like a very plain old taupey color bath rug and it is really soft but I think we're gonna move that one into the kitchen and then use that kind of to absorb any moisture that kind of splashes out of the sink area. We're gonna place this new one in the bathroom. So this is really, really cute. I love it. It's by Opal House, perfectly soft bath rug and it's 100% cotton and it's washable. It is this, I don't know how to show this. It's this kind of very textured, soft bath rug and I love it so much. I think it'll tie the whole bathroom together and make the space a little bit brighter because our bathroom is quite dark, so I wanted to incorporate way more white into the picture. That is it for shower stuff. The next two items we actually picked up from Barnes & Noble. This is a book that we picked up. Charlie and I are really big wine drinkers and we just love wine. I used to work at a wine bar. We just connected through going to wineries together and everything and we're also having our wedding at a vineyard, so you know, we're just all about the wine. We picked picked up this book. It is so stunning. It is this black book with white and gold all throughout. Obviously, I love the look of this book, but also I love how it is all about wine. Like it, it's called The Master Guide Wine Folly and it show it tells you like all things about wine. And I love it because I've never actually read a book about wine and this would be such a cool and neat, I don't know, like kitchen book 
or coffee table book. I don't know. I don't know where I exactly want to place it, but I really love how colorful this book is. It's very easy to read. It's not like just all words. Um, it's just very informative. It's just everything you would want to know about wine. It's awesome. I am so excited to actually read this. Like I want to read it. But at the same time, this would be, would be a really cool decor piece as well. So, oh, I love it so much. This was quite pricey. It's $35, but it is a beautiful hardcover book. And I'm really gonna keep this forever. So, I love it. We also got this canvas board. It's a cork board. I got this because I wanted to put it in the studio and cork my, uh, what is it? Instant photos? I don't know how to, how to, like the individual, what is it called? Polaroid. Polaroids. Oh my gosh, that word just completely went over my head. <laughs> so I have a lot of floating Polaroids and I wanted a place where I can make it into a decor piece. So I am excited to put these on this cork board and then I think we are going to place this in the studio. We also just bought a new desk for the studio so I can make that into my workstation and I'm thinking of putting this behind it. So when I film there, you guys can see all the lovely photos and it'll be really cute. Okay, so funny timing. Right when I finished recording this video, the Amazon package with three of the remaining items in our haul just arrived. So I was so happy so that I can just edit all of this at the same time and show you guys exactly what I bought in total, I guess. This one is what I'm so, so excited about because I think it'll make such a huge difference in our bedroom. This is the white and black grid pattern duvet cover and pillowcases. So super excited. I think what we are going to do is put the grid pillowcases on our old pillows because those ones could be like more decorative and it'll have that grid pattern on it. It is just a really simple medium grid pattern here. Nice, soft. We have a queen sized bed, so we got the queen sized one. So really excited to dress up my bed with this. We also got the duvet insert because we need a duvet insert to put the duvet cover on. And it is currently in the background because it was deflated and now it's like absorbing the air. So it's doing its thing right now over there. The last one, that I got is this shower caddy and we got this also on Amazon. Looks so, so nice. It has that black aesthetic that I love. Now I'm glad that we have this so we don't have to place our products on the sides of our bathtub <laughs> because you know what happens if you don't clean it often enough, it just like creates like water stains on the bathtub, which I hate. I love it. It looks really, really cute. So I'm excited to show you guys what everything looks like after everything is placed in its home. Now I will go ahead and show you how everything looks placed in my home. This is what our couch currently looks like. We have a gray, like a light to medium-ish gray color couch. And we just have these little soft couch covers because romper, you know, dogs. <laughs> and we have this gray blanket here. And these are the white pillows actually that I got from Target like years ago. And the corners are just getting a little patchy and romper also licks this pillow so much because I think he just likes the texture of it. So weird, rude. And it's not washable, so I think I'm actually going to get rid of, the, rid of these pillows as much as I love them so much because they are so cushiony. So we actually want to switch those out with pillows that actually can be uncovered because this literally has no zipper on it. We can't even wash it. It's just high maintenance, so we're gonna get rid of those and then replace it with new pillows that are washable. I eventually want to get a new couch because this one is from Wayfair. We are already experiencing some spring squeakiness and issues with the cushions not staying in place. It's just 
not ideal. So we want to upgrade this at some point. This is what our couch looks like before. This is what our current bedroom bedding situation looks like. As you can tell, it's super, super girly. We have a light pink comforter thing. I got this at Costco a couple years ago, but it's super thin and it's not as fluffy as I want it to be. It's a very thin duvet alternative comforter. I got it during college, so I was like, you know, whatever. I didn't really care about the quality that much. So we're gonna replace this. I want to get rid of this strawberry because as cute as it is, it just doesn't go with the decor that I want it to transform into. We have these silk pillowcases. It's not the expensive silk ones. It's from Amazon. I love these. But we got these in this beige color. And not a huge fan because I definitely want to go more towards that white and black neutral bedroom aesthetic. I'm going to change all of that. So this is the before. Here is our bathroom. So this is the entrance. I'm really not a huge fan of this rustic orangey wood color in our apartment, but obviously we can't change it because this is a rental property. And I mean, we could put contact paper, but it's just way too much work. I think the next time that we move, we're just going to rent a place that has more of that black and white aesthetic that I'm trying to achieve. This is the bathroom runner that we have underneath our J Jack and Jill, uh, what is it, sinks. I really love this. This is from Urban Outfitters, but the only thing is it's this really colorful, kind of mint foam green color. And it's just not what I want to go for. I think I initially got these because our shower curtain at the moment actually has these raindrops that are around the same color, but we are long overdue for some new shower curtains. So we're gonna change all of that to a black and white theme. And then I wanna switch this out to a white and black as well or at least like a grayish tone. I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna put that runner at the foot of our bed right here because we'll have like the black and white bedding. So that'll be kind of the pop of color that this room needs since everything in this room is already so white and then the bedding will have some black in it. So I think that little pop of color should be kind of the accent and it should be fine. But the bathroom for sure, I definitely don't want this in here. I have a few bits and pieces of decor coming in to fix this situation, but this is the bathroom, what it looks like before. La, la, la. Take a part of me, take my heart, make it ours, so we can let it be. Hold me in your arms and make me feel like I'm the only one. Cause I just need to be with you tonight. You were like, hello, hello, hello. And I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm used to flying solo, solo, solo. I'm in trouble now, I'm in trouble now. Now I'm singing like, oh la 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 la. You thought that it would last, but I did it. Then I did it. Yeah, I did it. I started catching feels for you. I, I started catching feels for you. I, I started catching feels for you. I, I, I. Now I'm I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am so excited to just keep on going with this redecoration home makeover challenge. You guys will definitely see way more home related things from me. If you guys want to help me grow on this channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay classy and stay cozy and I'll see you guys again soon in my next video. Bye.